multiple comparison procedure is conducted and the results are given below. The means have been ranked from smallest to largest. Interpret the results and state the number of comparisons made. So we're given this uh, result that D and B are joined together, A and C follow after that on the right hand side. And what we want to do first is to identify how many comparisons were made. When we're finished with that, we will interpret the diagram we see here. So number of comparisons made, well we had four means, right? So if you have four means, you're going to be pairing them up two at a time, right? Because their multiple comparison procedure compares each mean to every other mean in the list. Basically what the formula is for working that out is pretty simple. You take this number, and you multiply by one less than it, and then you divide by two. So the formula just generically, again, we've seen this in another video, is that we have k times k minus one divided by two, where k here, k is equal to the number of means. So k is equal to the number of means, there are four means, therefore our answer is four times three over two, that of course is 12 over two, or six different comparisons that were made. Okay, so now that we know there are six different comparisons made, the next step is to interpret what we found out. So if it's going from smallest to largest, it means that D is the smallest and C is the largest. So what we can say here is that essentially mean B is greater than or equal to D, right? We can see that from the drawing. We can see that B is greater than or equal to D. It's to the right of D, but it's joined by a bar, so we have the equal to sign there. So that's the first thing we can say. We can certainly say that A is greater than B and A is greater than D, right? We can say this because A is not joined to B and D by a bar, right? It's to the right of them, so it means it's bigger than both of them. And then we can go on to say that C is greater than A and C is greater than B and also C is greater than D. All right, so from there we have pretty much everything we can possibly derive from this drawing, right? Remember we made six comparisons, right? There would have been six little confidence intervals and we have six conclusions here from that statement. So we have as many conclusions as comparisons and that's all we can ever get from the diagram, right? So B is greater than or equal to D, A is greater than B we can see, we can see A is greater than D, we can see that C is bigger than everyone else. C is bigger than A, it's bigger than B, and it's bigger than D. It's significantly bigger because it's not joined by a bar to anything else in the list. Okay, so that's it.